everyone. Uh, my name is Gary Pierre Pierre. I'm the executive director of the Center for Community and Ethnic Media. It's uh, based here at the Graduate School of Journalism. It's, uh, I like to brag about this. This is the only center of its kind in the nation at a university or college. Uh, no one really uh, thinks it's necessary or important to track this, I think, this vital media sector. You know, as America changes, uh, this media sector is more reflective of current day America than uh, the, the general mainstream media. And so um, there have been a lot of transformation, a lot of changes in the industry. Uh, we hear every day about the trials and tribulations of New York Times, NBC, uh, you name it. And we, we, every day almost it seems we read about the demise of the media, of journalism, of newspapers, and particularly the newspapers. Uh, right now, there is a school of thought that uh, newspapers is passe, it's going to die. If you don't have a mobile platform, you got to stop the game over. Um, the reason we're here tonight is that I think there's one community that really uh, defies that logic. And uh, it's the Chinese community in New York, and I'm sure uh, in San Francisco and LA as well. But since we're here in New York, we're going to talk about New York. Well, really, uh, I've seen in my capacity at the center the vitality of the Chinese media, where uh, you have at least five newspapers going at it every day. Very, uh, what I called an old fashioned newspaper war that we saw in New York 30, 20 years ago. Uh, and, and so I think it, it, it's, it's, it's really, uh, uh, I'm really fascinated by this trend. And, and I'd love, I wanted to hear from the Chinese media as to what's the source, what's the ingredient, how to do it. And of course, uh, I just didn't want to keep that to myself, so I organized this uh, workshop, this panel discussions. At, at the end of it, I hope that we can have a better sense of the role of the Chinese media and the ethnic media in general in this country and where we go from there. What can our counterparts from the ethnic media learn from, from this media sector? Um, to do that, uh, we have four distinguished panelists with us. To my immediate left, we have Queenie Chen. Queenie is the... Uh, uh, assistant managing marketing and advertising manager for Tingtao Newspapers. And next to uh, Queenie is Marco Lu. Marco is the executive director of Co Corporate Public Affairs, Corporate China Affairs of World Journal Newspapers. And, and Sam is the marketing and community affairs manager at China Press. And then last but not least, we have Elaine Fan, chief reporter for Ming Pao Daily News. And then a uh, couple other Chinese dailies in addition to uh, television station, radio station, and magazines and, and whatnot, and websites, of course. Uh, to start with, I'd like um, Queenie to start and talk to us about uh, Ting Sao, its demographics, what it covers, and its mission in, in the city. And uh, we'll just go down the line after. Oh, hello, everybody. My name is Queenie, and I'm here representing Tao Daily. The Sing Tao Daily is one of the longest standing newspaper in Hong Kong since 1938, and it is internationally recognized as one of the world's most widely read Chinese language dailies in overseas markets. We are the only Chinese media published in four continents with 16 editions and distributed in over 100 cities globally. We have 22 offices in worldwide, including Hong Kong, mainland China, New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Toronto, Vancouver, Australia, London, and more. Our first office of St. Chow Daily in New York was, being, was built in New York in the year of 1965. We have served the community for over more than 48 years. We are also the most awards winning for more than 48 years of reliable news gathering and reporting news. And we are the first Chinese press to receive EP's awards from the Independent Award Preservations. 
Our newspaper gives readers valuable insight and in-depth coverage of current political, financial, educational, cultural, and social senses from their homes or regions and around the world. Singtao Daily's editorial product is created using daily Chinese language internet feeds from Hong Kong together with national feeds from its news bureau in New York and, other, and from others various regional reporters as well. Our goal is to provide most updated news to the public as a central perspective at all time. Beside the newspaper, we also have other publications such as Xingtao Weekly and Yeast Week Magazine. For some of you who don't know, um, Yeast, Mag Yeast Week Magazine is one of the most popular magazines in Hong Kong. And yes, we have other special features and supplements, including Chinese New Year supplements, Christmas supplements, and fortune book, parent guide, handbook, and more. And different publications target different group of Chinese populations. And Singtao Daily Newspaper and Singtao Weekly, it targets all Chinese Americans. And the Yeast Week targets the young Chinese readers. And we are also the most community involved. Our well-organized events you provide useful information to the new immigrants, fun activities to the children and the parents, as well as healthy sport competition to the public and more. And Singtao City is serving the community as best as we can. And we are growing, we are growing along with the Chinese community. Thank you. Thank you. Marco? Hi, everyone. This is Marco Liu with the World Journal. We call ourselves the most influential Chinese language media in America. Uh, next, next week, actually, no, two weeks down the road, we will uh, having our 38th anniversary here in New York. World Journal is headquartered in New York, but not just printed in New York. We have five printing houses across North America, New York, San Francisco, LA, Toronto, and Vancouver. And uh, we also have, uh, anyway, that the, uh, we contract out the, the printing uh, works to uh, a private printer that's uh, in Chicago and Dallas. Altogether, the World Journal that's not just circulated here in US and Canada, but also some city in Mexico. And yes, we do have some offshore office in Honolulu, Hawaii. The World Journal belongs to a Chinese language newspaper group based in Taiwan, and that's called United Daily News. But we are 100% subsidiary and totally independent from the daily operation of United <coughs> Daily News Group. That means we position ourselves as an American made newspaper. We print it in Chinese language, but we are a US media. So that's, uh, that's the unique of the World Journal. That's, that's make us different from anyone else in the city. And the World Journal, now the, um, we do have a website. Uh, and join the, let me, let me give you some figures here. Our, the, uh, the website that's, uh, and join the, uh, the unique visitors daily around 33,000. Not many, but uh, quite significant amongst the, its peers in Chinese language here based in the U.S. And also that the, uh, the uh, we, uh, we also have uh, e-paper and uh, a mobile version uh, that you can subscribe it uh, through uh, iPhone app or Android app. That means we are, yes, we are digitized. But uh, like many of our peers, we, in terms of uh, our advertisement revenue, we still heavily rely on uh, our printed edition. Let me sh just show you. I was talking with Gary, I, w w I was discussing this matter with Gary a few minutes ago. That's how, how difficult our life is. This is our daily, okay? It's not thinner than New York Times. Yes, and you know how much that you sell? 
50 cents. What's your circulation? How can you survive? How can you survive? What's your circulation? Circulation, yes. Um, well, it's fine for me to review here. That's in New York. In New York City, our circulation is roughly over 75,000. Just in New York. Okay. Well, and we'll the, in New York. Yeah. And the, I have some others, but the, uh, you know, I can explain the down road. Okay. So why don't I have the others? Okay. Sam? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my, my name is Sam from the China Press. Uh, well, the China Press uh, was the uh, um, first launched its uh, newspaper uh, in the 1990s, that's 24 years ago. And um, you know, the China Press uh, is the daily newspaper in New York, and uh, it's uh, distributed uh, in uh, five boroughs as well as Long, Long Island. Um, okay, the newspaper has uh, five sections with uh, at least uh, uh, 52 pages. You know, some, sometimes 52 pages, but sometimes uh, as, as many as uh, 60 pages. Uh, it depends on you know, uh, how many uh, things are, or how important the news you know, ha just happened. Um, OK, so the, the China Press um, now is not just a traditional print company. Uh, we developed as a multimedia. That means that we not only have the newspaper uh, in New York, but also you know we have the digital and so and the social platforms. Um, let me uh, first say uh, let me say about the, the newspaper first. Uh, besides the daily newspaper in New York, we also have uh, six uh, weekly editions uh, in East Coast uh, in New Jersey. Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C., Boston, uh, North and South Carolina, and Chicago. And of course, you know, Chicago, Chicago is not uh, in its coast, but, but anyway, you know, uh, it's uh, operated by uh, our uh, headquarters in New York. And we also, the, the China Press has also another uh, system in the West Coast. Um, it, the two daily newspapers in West Coast um, one is in San Francisco, and another is in uh, uh, LA. And also, uh, they also have uh, several weekly uh, newspapers. So totally, the China press uh, in United States uh, has 25 editions uh, like this. OK, um, the new development for the uh, China press that, is that uh, we, we develop the, the digital, the website. So the website, we focused on the local news and the practical information. And also we have uh, the video. So we, we're not just a print, we, you know, we, we, we have uh, the, video, uh, the video channel uh, in our website. Um, so, uh, so, so, you know, uh, the, the website and the digital, um, not only, uh, the viewers, but also the commercial uh, things developed very fast. Um, another thing is, I just like to say uh, a little bit about the social media. The China press uh, has the social media, uh, the, the Chinese social media is called Weibo, and the Weibo is the Chinese children, and the the, the you know uh, the most new um, immigrants from China, especially uh, uh, the new immigrants. Uh, the, the new generation. Uh, so they have um, the, the uh, they use the Weibo very, uh, very often, uh, even more often than Facebook and Twitter. So that's why that we we launched our uh, uh, the Weibo. Uh, you know, it's a, so the Weibo, the China Press Weibo has 2.15 million followers. Which is the uh, which is the most followers uh, for the media official Weibo uh, Weibo account, um, and also we ranked as one of the fifty uh, the most flourish the flourish uh, Weibo platform. 
that's the thing. Um, another thing is that we also have an official uh, WeChat. WeChat is uh, like you know a text message. <coughs> so we we text the important news and practical information to our con to our contacts uh, every day, every minute. Um, you know that's a, a, a activity. Um, okay, so that's things uh, the 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 major things that I just like to, to share with you. Well, thank you. Um, Elaine? Hi, um, hello everyone. My name is Elaine Fan. I'm from uh, Ming Pao Daily News. I'm just going to give a very brief introduction of our newspaper. So, as you might have just heard, um, Ming Pao opened its acquired building in Flushing just of last year. And we held our grand opening of the Mipao building in Flushing, which is a very vibrant community that's, that's composed of uh, a lot of new immigrants. And then um, here, let me uh, go back to the history of Mipao. So Mipao was first published on May the 20th, 1959, and was founded by the famous Chinese novelist, uh, whose name is Jin Yong. I don't know if anybody in the audience have ever heard of his name, but he is really famous in China. So with Jin Yong and his friends, Mr. Shen. And then uh, Mipa was taken over by Mr. King in 1995. So now our newspaper is published by Mipa Newspaper Limited, a subsidiary of Media Chinese International, which was formed by the successful merger of Mipa Enterprise Corporation, Central Media, and Nanyang Prize. The Media Chinese International Group is one of the biggest in South Asia. Um, in the 1990s, Mingpao established four overseas branches in North America. That's uh, one we have. Uh, we, we have. We used to have in the 1990s. We used to have the Mingpao Toronto, uh, Mingpao Vancouver, uh, Mingpao San Francisco, and New York. But I I would like to clarify one thing. So. People say in year 2009, Mingpao New York branch ceased operation, uh, which is totally not true. And uh, I should say we're doing just fine. And we're uh, a free daily newspaper right now. We have a very large circulation. And I believe free daily newspaper is the trend of today. So thank you. Um, now, again, I'm, I'm, I'm really fascinated by this because uh, I know the Chinese community is relatively large in the city, but it's not the largest. So this question is to the whole panel, and feel free to jump in and answer uh, as you wish. But my question is, uh, why was there a need to start in your mind so many newspapers? And when you go out to pitch your publication to advertisers, how do you distinguish yourselves from the other? So with you, uh, uh, Queenie. Yeah. Well, from starting out from the other newspaper, we can also we can always can um, introduce ourselves with our long long histories and uh, our publications. And um, beside our tradition, we always do some uh, new stuff. Um, we can always introduce and and uh, sell them our our products in our ways. And uh, we can also uh, take advantage of our uh, strong backup in our headquarters in Hong Kong and mainland China. We can always um, receive all the first hand and most updated uh, breaking news from everywhere in the, on the world since we have so many offices in worldwide. And um, we also will attract them um, not only in New York, but any anywhere else we are the we are the most um, popular and also um, the most updated newspaper on the world. Well, it's hard to follow. <laughs> well, uh, no, I'll be more practical to give you some figures. According to our latest uh, reader's profile survey, we enjoy a very unique uh, 
uh, group of readers that have a median household income, which was uh, the survey was conducted the middle of two, 2013. The median household income of our readers is 70,000. 70,000. I hope it's dollars, right? Uh, yeah. And then the, uh, with a education, is 85% is college and above. College and, and above. And then the, uh, the most interesting, I mean, for Chinese newspaper, for, for advertisement revenue, especially for classified advertisement revenue, is the high ownership and real estate purchasing power. Uh, that 65.9% of our readers are homeowner, and about 30% of them owns two houses and above. So uh, you see that the Chinese like to buy property. And uh, the, the latest and the big news here in town is the, uh, the China is coming, the Chinese is coming. Uh, the Shanghai Fuxing Group just bought the, uh, a, a big share of the, uh, uh, what is it? Rockefeller Center. Remember in the early 80s when Japanese bought Rockefeller Center, how you guys feel? City Hall, I mean, yes, also. Uh, I don't know how, uh, well, whether this, uh, this trend can sustain or not, but we, uh, I mean, as a, as a newspaper, as you know, serving this community, that we, uh, we, we are benefit from um, that kind of energetic uh, business environment. And also that the, uh, for our readers, uh, uh, there, there are some other interesting, if you will, facet I'd like to share with you is that uh, uh, we are, uh, I mentioned that the World Journal, we, uh, we are a subsidiary of a newspaper group headquartered in Taiwan, but, uh, the, uh, but given the, uh, the, the so-called democratization in Taiwan, and also the, uh, uh, if you will, the, uh, the, the relation of cross-strait is uh, getting uh, more peaceful. I'm talking cross-strait, that's in Taiwan and China. So that the, uh, uh, we are definitely, we are a nonpartisan newspaper, Chinese newspaper. We are the, we are the only one nonpartisan Chinese language newspaper in town. That means, uh, I got letters or phone calls complaining that we are pro-Taiwan or we are pro-China. Uh, you know, we got, we, got, we, got, we got criticized from both sides. That means we did something right. Uh, and that's, uh, that's the case. Like what, what happened today. If you know, if you know the things, I mean, for today, the biggest news is the, Chinese, uh, the US uh, stock market coming down because of the sales in, in China coming down. So you see how close the, the, uh, the, uh, the things happen between China and, 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 and U.S. So uh, we are a Chinese language newspaper. Of course, we have a more resource in, in, in that part of the world, but we want to uh, inform our readers here and through uh, those readers that maybe, maybe their contact in the mainstream can also benefit from uh, learning things really happen there. And Another big issue that, as, as I mentioned to you, that whenever there is a power struggle, be it in Taiwan or be it in China, uh, we are the first one to run. So okay. Let's, let's go pitch the advertisers. Okay. okay. Um, the, subject of, the subject of this panel is, uh, is talk about the battle. I'm, I'm shocked about this, uh, this subject. Uh, well, frankly, you know, um, for for the uh, for the media companies uh, right here in, in New York, that's there's a tight competition. But you know, we we compete with the uh, World Journal, with Sinta, with Ming Pao, equally and respectfully. And we learn a lot from uh, from World Journal and from 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 Xin Pao. So we respect each other. So that's uh, uh, well, I just you know. Um, Go to my uh, 
my customer, or I just let my uh, my salespeople, you know, uh, go go to uh, my uh, uh, go to their you know, customers. Uh, they will they will talk about them two things. One is the quality of the newspaper. If we have the good quality, we might have a, a good quantity. The quantity of the ads. So that's so. What what is quality? What uh, what is the newspaper's good quality? Is that this newspaper must be trusted by the readers, and this newspaper must be trusted by the community. We are the community-based newspaper. So that's uh, so. We only we report the con confirmed news. We don't want to spread any rumors. We don't want to want to spread uh, any. Uh, no, we, we just, no, we don't want to be a gossip. So we report to our readers, or we deliver the news, or deliver the information to, to our readers or to the community, the truth, the fact. So the sign of our newspaper is the fact, fast, and fair. So our reporters, when they report the, uh, the news, uh, what, you know, what happened in our community. If there's uh, a mu the multiple parties involved in this, uh, in this event or in, involved in this incident, we not only just report one side, we must interview the all sides who are involved uh, in, in this case. So we must, uh, we must have the, the balance. So the accurate, the speed, and the balance. So that will, you know, make the newspaper have a better quality. And another thing is, what's the different uh, from the other uh, the Chinese uh, language newspaper here in New York? Um, first, we are the first. Uh, uh, we are the only simplified. Uh, we we are the only news newspaper printed in uh, simplified Chinese. Why we use the simplified Chinese? Because, okay, I have, all right, according to the U.S. Census uh, 2010, um, the, Chinese bang, uh, the, the Chinese population in the United States is 4.3 million. And among them, born in uh, mainland and Hong Kong is 1.8 uh, million. Um, Okay, so let's just uh, estimate. Okay, there's other you know, newspaper. I, I I don't want you know uh, use uh, taking you know, more too long time you know, to 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 read about this. So it's just an uh, estimate the simplified Chinese um, u users in U.S. It's about two million, two point one million. Of course, you, maybe you know. Uh, so why is that an advantage that you'll publish in simplified Chinese as opposed to what other type of Chinese do you have? Why is, there, is that such an advantage for you? Okay, the, the Chinese language has, uh, has two writing languages. It's, uh, one is called the traditional, and another is called simplified. The, the, peop well, well, you know, the Chinese people from mainland China, as well as uh, from uh, some country of uh, uh, Southeast Asia, they use the simplified Chinese. Uh, Hong Kong, and uh, from Hong Kong, from Taiwan, um, yeah, they are using uh, the traditional Chinese. Um, of course, you know, um, many Chinese uh, immigrants, Dutch, they can understand both. But for them, you know, for the, uh, for the people from mainland China, uh, it is more convenient for them to read and to understand the simplified Chinese. Okay, that's the one thing. Another thing is that we are the only Chinese language newspaper, uh, I mean, uh, the New York-based, uh, New York-based Chinese language newspaper uh, available in international flights. So the people, when they, uh, when they, uh, you know, take the airplane to to United States, or they take the airplane back to to China. They can read the they can read the China press. Uh, I'm, I'm, well, I'm plan. You know, for this stuff, 
13 hours. That's boring all the time. So, so, so they were reading the newspaper from the first, the, from the first the word to the, to the last one. So that's the, uh, um, and how many passengers will, will, will travel, um, take the airplane every day from JFK to, uh, to China, to Beijing, to Shanghai, and to other, other major cities? More than three, more than 3,500 every day. Um, how do you pitch your publication? When you go to an advertiser, how do you tell, I, mean, I know you're a chief reporter, yeah. you probably don't do much of that, but how do you distinguish yourself from your colleagues, your friendly competitors here? Uh, yeah, as you just mentioned, I'm the chief reporter of the news department, so I probably may not be able to give out a lot of information. But yes, Minpao is a free daily newspaper in uh, Chinese language. So it's um, very similar uh, with Metro, which is a free English daily newspaper. So we don't have 80 to 100 pages every day, but that really doesn't make us less as a media. And we're actually more accurate. I think we are accurate and uh, comprehensive in the content. Um, we did two reader surveys last year. Um, but to be honest, with everyone here in the room, I was not allowed to give out some figures of that service. So, but I, I should say, um, I sent out reporters uh, early in the morning, and they took a lot of photos on the train. I mean, the subways of New York City, and we, it, it's very clear, um, most of the early morning commuters are reading uh, Ming Pao freely on the train compared to other newspapers. Uh, when I, I, a couple of days ago, I was talking to one of my colleagues here at the school uh, about this panel and how excited I was about it. And uh, my colleague said, well, you, know, you should ask them this question about, you know, do they get subsidies from the mainland? Because they got to be getting subsidies some way or another because they are doing so well that buckle the trend. So now, I, again, I leave it up to, to you to uh, I know you're based in New York, so Elaine, I guess that doesn't apply to you, but those of you in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and um, uh, mainland China, do you get subsidies from uh, the Chinese government or the Taiwanese government so you can you know, remain competitive? Let me respond uh, first. I'm, I'm shocked that uh, Marco is the first one yeah. to talk about let, let me respond first, because uh, two things I want to clarify. Uh, I'm from reporting side, not just from business side. I was the executive editor till 2007, and then just kicked upstairs for administrative job now. So I know how a reporter is working in my newspaper, and so let's uh, just pass that part, that how, uh, what, 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 what is, how to, how to write a correct the news or whatever. Those are the journalism 101 here. Uh, we don't have to waste our time on that. Uh, I want to tell you this is a, a newspaper like World Journal can get a cent from either sides of, of Taiwan Strait. I'm talking from the government. There's no way. Of course, our competitor, another one, another major Chinese language freebie in town, they always criticize that uh, uh, I guess all of us getting money from China. I guess uh, you, you all know who, which one I'm talk, referring to. Well, <laughs> those of us who are not Chinese, <laughs> or which one are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but uh, my answer to your question is no, we don't. We don't, and then uh, I think we do, we were doing quite well. Uh, we're doing quite well for the past 38 years. Although uh, uh, in the early days, it's, yes, it's tough. And in terms of a profitability, uh, we are okay. But not because our sales going up. No, our sales for like for last year's, our sales only up uh, less than 2%. But our profit went up double digit. <coughs> How? Because of better management. We're cutting down the cost on per capita basis. Can you imagine that the one day that your, your boss asking you that uh, how much money you spend for electricity in your office if you have two lights? 
and then how much you should share the uh, the uh, the, uh, uh, the the uh, the claim for the for the claim lady actually, things like that. Actually, Marco, that's my next question. You <laughs> getting into that? You know how? What's the secret sauce? No, but because this is relate. This is relate to your question. Because you were asking, you were asking that. How come you guys so successful so well when everybody's suffering and you still you can still survive? The, uh, there must be a some uh, uh, underneath uh, pipeline there that funneling money from China or Taiwan to states. Uh, I don't know the others, but I know mine. And there's no. Okay, uh, of course they can speak for. Neither them. does China Press. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's nearer than Saint Tao. We are absolutely professional and. Um, uh, we are no any religion and political preference at all. So, are there any religious or political based newspaper in the Chinese community? I believe so, yes. What's the name of it? Uh, you know that. No, I, I don't want to get myself in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we journalists, I mean, why are we going to get in trouble? Oh. This is an open. See, open that's the problem. I mean, this is a free country, so anyone can run a newspaper. Even they are partisan, even they are pro certain ideological uh, ideology, and you know, you, you, you have no way to argue with them, sure. really. Sure. And, and, and now, the second part of the question so, you know, how do you do it? I mean, uh, Queenie, how do things are, you know, we made so vibrant, and, and who are your advertisers? Who, who's buying the advertising and, and, and the Chinese newspapers? Well, um, for the questions of who is buying the newspaper, of course, the Chinese people, and appetizers. Yeah. Okay. For the appetizers, uh, we have not only the Chinese ethnic group, we also have foreigners um, from from the foreigner companies, and um, they why, why they are buying an appetizer on our companies, on our newspapers, because um, nowadays the Chinese ethnic group is getting growing crazily, and the numbers of the, our population gets crazily uh, increased. So that is why most of the foreign companies and advertisers, they want to advertising on our, in our newspaper because they want to target our markets. Well, and other reason is because um, our, our Chinese immigrants, and not only they are working here, but also they are, in, they are here for investment and they have strong consuming ability. So that is why the advertising is taking place and they, they are market on our, our newspapers. Okay, um, I, I guess that the, just joking that uh, when my, my, my colleague from the Chinese uh, media uh, talking about foreigner, actually we're talking mainstream. Because you guys are foreigner to us. <laughs> no. Actually, we are the foreigner here. Well, no, we are Americans. So. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, the uh, couple of figures, again, I, I want to give you figures. Um, that our advertised uh, world journal that we have, we have the uh, very thick classified advertised uh, section. The daily uh, advertiser, and the, no, ad, uh, classified advertised units, are, we have uh, we have about fifty four thousand units, fifty four thousand units, and then uh, we published about a hundred four pages to a hundred eight pages daily. Uh, when we have uh, hit the record of uh, hundred thirty six uh, pages. I remember I got the red envelope from the boss. You know, that everyone get a red envelope for that to celebrate that. That's the, uh, the uh, and, and that very day we uh, we, we get the uh, the most advertisement. Uh, yes, just like my uh, competitor, uh, we do not uh, only have the uh, advertisement from within our community. I'm talking Chinese community, but also from the mainstream. And the, we were talking about the uh, uh, the Saint House uh, uh, performance of they have a, they, they put out very uh, beautiful uh, I think the belt for Godiva chocolate. Uh, okay, now we do have uh, we do have uh, a Tiffany. We do have all the luxury goods. 
Of course, uh, for those merchandisers, they are aiming at uh, consumer uh, coming from China, of course. And but for the local people, they are more, uh, I mean, advertiser, they, they, they're more interested in selling car, financial service, uh, real estate property, uh, the uh, uh, um, telecommunications, and uh, cable TV, uh, you, you name it. Uh, as well as you have uh, the, 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 any, uh, tourism and, and so on. So uh, yes, uh, I guess for uh, our case, uh, the World Journal, uh, we are not different from any other uh, competitor in the mainstream, that we do have uh, advertisement from all sectors of the, uh, uh, of the business and in the communities here. Okay, thanks. Uh, Sam? Uh, yeah, um, the, the major ads that we have uh, is from uh, two parts. And one part is from the mainstream company, you know, uh, the, the, the large corporations, you know, like um, uh, telecom uh, company like uh, uh, AT&T, Verizon, uh, and, uh, and some others. And uh, also on the front, uh, financial institutes, just like um, banks, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the mortgage banks, just the regular banks, uh, like PNC, uh, um, HSBC, Bank of America, just like this. And, uh, and also some, uh, you know, from, uh, from uh, uh, air, airlines, uh, like uh, Delta, um, like AA, you know, something like that. There's, uh, you know, there's many, uh, many uh, as from, uh, from ministry corporations. Well, this kind of, uh, um, as uh, normally, you know, we work through uh, advertising agencies. Uh, in last year, um, we have a 25% increase from 2012, you know, uh, for this large uh, corporation ads. And another part is, is, is you know, from the local business. I mean, uh, uh, well, most of them are Chinese business. Um, this, well, that will be covered in you know, everything. That's uh, um, from, from the restaurant, um, car service, um, car dealer, uh, you know, everything, cover everything. That's, uh, okay. uh, so, Elaine, how do you compete with these giants? I'm sorry. So, Elaine. How, so how does Meepal compare to all these giants, right? Uh, as I just mentioned, like, is free and we have the lowest price among all and I think that's uh, make us very unique and also very competitive uh, when we try to sell the advertisement because you don't have the people all come from the same class of that society and you do have the working professionals you have middle class working class and uh, the people who are I mean so-called the rich so we have like a certain group of people uh, would place advertisement with MingPal. And it's, we, we do have a very steady, like, um, I mean, the income is very steady from those groups. Uh, also, also, as you mentioned, like, whether any media is getting money from the government, absolutely no. I would like to answer that question as well, because MingPal is, is very well known for its independency and accuracy when it comes to news reporting. Um, but uh, our par parental company, the Media Chinese International Group, is very independent. And uh, Ming Pao was actually born with the silver spoon. So <laughs> that's, yeah, that's how we establish the business here in North America. Yeah, and one more factor that um, probably uh, most of the audience do not understand that, because we are an ethnic media, so we do have I get all of us do have advertisement from lawyer, law firm, accounting, accountant, and a lot, a lot of medical doctors. You wouldn't find it in New York Times. You wouldn't find it in Daily News. But you can find it World Journal, Xingdao, uh, uh, China Press, and Minpao. And I think, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, before I, I take uh, questions from the audience, I want to touch upon the point that uh, Sam, uh, you were talking about your uh, social media uh, new media strategy, uh, and 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 please 
uh, touched upon that again, and also the others. Uh, what are you doing from that sort of like new media technology or that you can share with us? Not that you're on Facebook and Twitter. We know that right now everybody is doing that. But what, is there something in particular you're doing you think you know will help us here? Please share. But go ahead. Well, you know, from from my point of view, that's the major difference between uh, between the uh, traditional newspaper, uh, the traditional print, and uh, the, the new media. I mean, uh, the, the the social media. Um, it's about uh, active and pa passive. Uh, the traditional print is kind of passive, but the social media is active. The social media that you know uh, we have the, the Weibo, as I said before, um, that is uh, uh, Weibo and uh, and WeChat. Uh, that we will deliver the the no, news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me stop. But, but why do you think it was really important to start something like that? Oh yeah, the guiding uh, principle. I mean, because I thought that's a that's a brilliant well, uh, move. Well, obviously, um, people use. Uh, Digital and uh, mobile, social, um, more, more and more and more often than before. More and more people use that, especially for the young people. You know, the young people or the, or the uh, well, the new immigrants from uh, from China, from, a uh, from Asia. You know, the young generation. Um, well, some of them just read newspaper or, or, or they were buying newspaper. Um, that's why you know we we spend our circulation in Midtown, Manhattan, in in Times Square, in Columbia University, uh, in NYU, uh, in Grand Central. You know we also has you know, well you can buy uh, the China Press everywhere uh, in, in Midtown Manhattan. But but uh, I have to say um, most of them. Uh, maybe you know they um, they are not familiar to to read a newspaper. They use the computer and mobile every day. So that's why you know we, we use that. And also the the advertising agencies they are interested in new technology and new media, and they see these changes. So every time, every single time that I went to uh, a marketing uh, event or a marketing conference. Uh, hosted by by the uh, advertising agencies, they they always they ask me about the new media all the time. So they say, uh, if I just to talk about our newspaper, they say, hey, we we know China press for a long time. You don't you don't need to talk about it this much, uh, but if you have developed the new media and uh, you know uh, the, especially you know the social media, that talk about me this. So you know this is. Uh, it's really, really uh, important uh, nowadays. Uh, Queenie, anything that uh, Tsingtao is doing that's uh, uh, innovative in the uh, new media front? Yeah, yeah. Um, we actually have a create an online publication, and it serves as a platform to um, interact with the readers. And um, it's daily updates on current global, local news, stocks, financial, educational, entertainment, and, and so on. And um, beside the community and metro news, it actually is um, totally different version than the newspapers. And uh, we just want to create um, or produce uh, two different products to, to the readers, um, bes um, between from the uh, print readers and the online readers. And we are also developing other new technologies, including Facebook, um, Twitter, and the way it was, I'm just said, and uh, layers is the readers that um, Singtel hosts events and activities, and we have, we we doing pretty well. We have thousands of readers so far, and um, <coughs> Singtel is moving slowly to the new technology, and we are on the right track. Thank you. Uh, I don't know your free publication, but what, what are you are doing uh, online on different platforms? that you'd like to share with us? Oh, actually, I don't have much to say because currently we don't have uh, WeChat and we don't have Weibo. I mean, for the local Mingtao, no, we don't have those yet. Okay. 
and but uh, definitely in Hong Kong we do have roles and I believe um, the readership in New York City is still um, very much professional. I'm not saying this to defend myself because we don't have those. It's, it's still, um, I mean, it's a fact. Like uh, most of the people here in New York City, I mean, not most of the people, most of the Chinese people here in New York City, they prefer to read Chinese newspapers. I mean, the print version still. And, um, yeah, but, but Ming, Ming Pao's e paper is good. It's nice to, to read. Uh, Mark, we have the last word here. Yes, uh, I think that's a, this is a very serious question for us to think, not just answer you here. Uh, but first, um, I'd like to clarify again uh, one thing. When we, uh, Mr. Go mentioned about the WeChat, raise your hand. Uh, have, those who, who, who knows WeChat, please. Who are using, those who are using WeChat, must be coming from China or yeah, close to China. <laughs> WeChat is a Facebook plus Twitter plus MSN. And WeChat now is, uh, they also allow you to real time group chat, voice chat. Okay? So I, I, I you know, this is a, this is a, this is a, 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 a huge things behind it, and uh, we don't know how it will translate it into the, uh, the, uh, our daily competition. Um, but things already happening in, in China. Those, uh, those uh, big social media uh, uh, player now are entering into financial service. Now think about it. If you, uh, plus financial service, plus the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the merchandising, I'm talking uh, uh, the retailing and, and so on, uh, this is a something beyond, way beyond uh, uh, media what we, we're talking about. Uh, here, for the Chinese language uh, newspaper or Chinese language media, I think we're, we are still at a very early stage. Uh, World Journal, yes, we do have Weibo uh, group. We do have, uh, we just start to have a WeChat group. That's for what? For campaign, for events, mainly for events. Uh, we have difficulty to penetrate into, because uh, there's no, no problem for us to uh, notify our readers or our followers through Twitter and Facebook here in the state. But uh, there's no way for you to receive those signals in China. So if you want to penetrate China, you have to use Weibo or WeChat. I think that's the main, uh, main reasons. And But for uh, 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 the so-called digitized uh, I think that we all, uh, the, what uh, World Journal went through was, uh, well, I guess we are the first to uh, uh, use the computerized editing system, and it's kind of a headache. And uh, we have to train people at uh, the way you write and uh, the way you edit, and then uh, you have to uh, uh, sit in front of your computer for, for hours, and, but that's, that should not be the, uh, the, the, the main topic for, or, or, or the, the only story for digitize. Digitize is how you can really uh, have your database uh, fully utilized, not just only for uh, uh, reporting, but also for other business purposes. And I think that's, that, that is a big project for, for us to, uh, I think we have yet to be uh, uh, capable to to announce any 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 progress yet. All right, well, we'll look at that together. Uh, Erica, do you have a question? This is a great panel. Um, my question is, did any of your papers endorse in the mayoral race, and who did you back? And also, for those of you, I know Sing Tao mentioned that you have a, a product, a publication specifically aimed at younger Chinese, and, and obviously we're all aiming at younger audiences through digital. But my question is, is, is any of the content being directed at them in English, or are there plans to offer that content in English for the younger, local local Chinese, younger generation? So the magazine I mentioned is this one, East Week Magazine, and it's, um, no, no, it's not upside down. Okay, um, so if this is the most, or one of the most popular magazines um, in Hong Kong, well, it basically, it targets the, um, the young Chinese readers because you basically talk about gossip, celebrity, paparazzi, 
and well, that's the young generation most concerned on right now, right? So um, this is a great. This is a great um, pu publication that can that allows us to attract more um, young Chinese readers, and uh, we we don't we we don't have any. Uh, is that mayors you said? Or mayor, um, mayor or yeah. No, we don't, we don't have that. No, we do. Uh, maybe maybe um, notice yeah, we did from our chief reporter mayor can. For twice. A uh, couple, uh, I think it's uh, the second term of uh, Mayor Bloomberg. You know, they they campaign asked for us to endorsement. We did endorse him for twice. And when after that, uh, we 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 do have a um, committee from the editorial department, uh, which include the reporter and include the editor, and then we have a committee to endorse the uh, political candidate. So what did you endorse? Who did you endorse? Um, you mean this time? We this time we didn't endorse. This time, yes, we did not. World Journal? World Journal never endorsed anyone, because we, but with only one exception, we will spend a lot of uh, spaces to report if there is Chinese candidate. John Lu? Did you endorse John Lu? We don't. Okay. Uh, huh? uh, we don't either. Um, and for, for the question about the young people, you know, the China Press has the, the new media center, and there are about you know, more than 10, 10 people there, and all of them are, are younger than 30. So uh, all the contents that they provide, and they believe, is uh, very, you know, uh, is a common interest by the young people. Yes, uh, we used to endorse uh, former mayor uh, Bloomberg. But this time, when John was running for the mayor, we didn't endorse him or anyone else. And uh, actually, I'm not very sure of the reasons why we endorsed Mayor Bloomberg when he ran for a second or the third term, because at the time, I was not the chief reporter, and the decision was not made by me. <laughs> so. What about the uh, second generation? What is, what is your strategy to target that group? Because 10 years, 20 years from now, those are going to be the readers, and why did you try to, to make sure that you're still relevant in the city? It's a good question, but the uh, I would like to remind you to a very good paper uh, came out from this center. That is, uh, uh, the boomer is still there. They tend to be, uh, they tend to live for quite another while. They will not be going. So, when we're talking about focusing on next generation, don't forget you have a big chunk of readers there. They need your serv uh, They need your service. I think that's our philosophy. That's yes, we focus on uh, second generation. Actually, the 35 percent of our readers are age under 30. And then, uh, very interesting, about 15 percent of our readers are those who are born in the states. You know why? Not because they have very good Chinese language education here, but most of them, I believe, they are Fuzhounese or Wenzhounese. They've come from the southern, uh, southern provinces in China. And those immigrants, they tend to send their kids back home uh, uh, at age one, two, three. And then when they grow up, they're coming back. So they are, they are all Chinese readable. Okay. Uh, I guess relative, uh, I mean relevant to that, is how many um, uh, of your readers um, can vote, are citizens that can vote, <coughs> and, um, and also did any of the candidates um, advertise in any of your papers? And one last question, is what percentage of your paper uh, is local versus international? Local? This is, uh, this is uh, yesterday's first page of local news section. It's talking about uh, de Blasio uh, being criticized of uh, 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 snow shuffling here in Upper, uh, I mean, Upper East, right? You, you all heard, you all uh, watch TV and heard about that. Um, we, I don't, I don't have any figures about the, uh, or what percentage of our readers are voters. Uh, there, it's not in our survey, and, but, uh, 
to answer your question, yes, most of the candidate they do run their ads in our newspaper. I've noticed an increased number of advertisement from uh, the elected officials since year 2013, uh, two, 2012, I believe. And then um, we've never had that many advertisement from the elected officials before. But as the um, Chinese population grew larger and larger, it, it did happen as a trend. And actually, just of last year, 2013, uh, every candidate running for a borough president of Queens, they place advertisement with Meipao, and they were fighting for the front page section, the space. So it's not even like the space is so much limited, and some of them didn't get it. Um, we actually don't have a survey to do to um, search the numbers of uh, readers can vote. But I will definitely more time for next survey then. Um, so I don't have actually portion numbers for you for for the uh, national feeds and and the local news. But in section eight, uh, we have sixteen to eighteen pages. Uh, the national feeds from uh, everywhere for on the on the world, like from Hong Kong, Taiwan, Guangdong, and the community news is in the B sections and. Um, Mostly, we have six to eight pages of news according to daily news. Uh, you want to add anything? Well, you know, um, many candidates just um, advertise to uh, uh, China Press as well. Uh, however, uh, there's uh, no uh, pre presidential and the governor yet, but hopefully, uh, maybe in the future, near future. Uh, I hope so. And, uh, and uh, um, for the uh, for the local for the local uh, news, you know, uh, we focus on uh, focus on the the community and the local news uh, more than before. So now we have uh, one section. It's the section B. It's called the local news. That that in that in, entire section is for the local news. That is only for the news not including uh, the lifestyle uh, and you know, other, other stuff. Yeah, Chico and Yanni, um, African Sun Times. Uh, you talked about um, the uh, mainstream companies um, advertising uh, in your newspapers. Uh, what kind of, um, how do you, do you, you, what kind of figures do you use to attract, uh, you go out uh, to solicit uh, uh, from them or they come to you? And what kind of demographic do you use in uh, convincing them? Uh, uh, all I can answer you is for my newspaper, for the World Journal. As, uh, as I told you that we do have a media kit uh, available for all the uh, advertisement company, advice, advertising company, and then the, that's conduct by a, a, a third party or survey so uh, mid last year. Uh, I think that are the annual household income and also the, uh, the purchasing power are the uh, major factor to, uh, to have them put their money in our newspaper. Uh, but we don't, uh, I, I would say that th those are two tracks. One is coming from a big uh, advertising house and they do have, for the certain brand, uh, they, they, they do uh, focusing on uh, uh, ethnic market, <coughs> like uh, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, bank. Okay, this, is, this bank's coming from, from California, right? They want to enter into New York mar uh, market. And given their connection to uh, Chinese community in California, yes, of course, they put ads, not just in, in our newspaper, everyone, okay? So uh, the same, like uh, 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 Verizon's, they, wa they, they want to do business to everyone, especially if you make a lot of a long distance international uh, phone call. So uh, I guess those are uh, in there, it's not because our effort to get their, uh, uh, get their money, rather it's because they are, uh, they, they are sensitive enough of 
uh, how to uh, take care of this uh, ethnic market. But yes, we do. Uh, all, we have a so-called uh, account service department. I believe the uh, uh, the Singdao also had one. That's they are. Uh, we have uh, the, the AE. They have daily contact with potential uh, advertiser and also the uh, PR company. I don't know whether uh, uh, I answer your question correctly. Uh, next question. Thank you. How many reporters do each of you have in your New York City uh, offices, and how much do you pay your beginning reporters? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Sam, you want to start? Uh, well, you know, I'd like to uh, just answer the last question. So for the advertising thing, uh, agencies, uh, that's from the both sides. Sometimes that they, they, they contact us uh, they will know us um, online or just uh, referred by the other people. And if, uh, most of the uh, case that we went, we went to them. I myself visit uh, the agencies uh, the, uh, the, uh, the agencies very often, um, every, uh, every month. And also we, we send them newsletters every month, that monthly newsletters to tell them what's the new development uh, the China press, including the print, uh, digital, and social. Um, that's the that's the thing. Um, in terms of uh, uh, the staff, the editorial staff, how many reporters you have? Reporters. How much um, you pay entry level? Well, I'm not from the, the reporting department, but uh, but roughly it's rough, roughly it's fifteen. And uh, what's the salary? I I don't know. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, I, I really don't know that. Right. Gary, Gary, I asked. Um, well, I'm not in the editorial department, so I have my colleague Lotus to answer for me. So the reporting team, uh, not include the editor, we have uh, 12 to 13 reporters. Um, some of them uh, cover Queens, and some of them cover Portland, and the rest of them cover Manhattan. The salary is based on their uh, experience and academic background, so we cannot tell you. Anybody else want to answer that, or yes, should we move to the next question? We have a we have a, a city desk uh, just for city desk. Uh, we have a seventeen, I guess, so far, but this year, and then the uh, we do have uh, three other uh, sports reporter. Uh, we have uh, three other uh, finance writers. They are not just reporters. They also have to compile story from wild service and the professional uh, news uh, services. And then we do have uh, two other writers uh, for style pages. And then weekly, we have uh, two other reporter, weekly reporter. So uh, I, I, I don't have a total figures because when I was in the uh, uh, when I was sitting in the in, in, in the press room, uh, I think we have uh, altogether the re uh, reporter, writers, editor. We have we have less than 80s. That's the figures I can I, I'm comfortable to tell you. We have less than 80 as altogether for editorial department. Uh, for the uh, uh, the wages, uh, I really uh, I'm really off the track. I know. I know they have. Uh, they have. Uh, they, there's adjustment last year that the uh, uh, just to cover their travel expenses. So I, I don't know what's what's the total figures now. One quick question before we go on to this uh, one group, young lady here is: Are you all part of the newspaper guild? Are your reporters members of the guild? Good question. Uh, no. Okay. I I have never. Oh, I I joined the the, the four uh, the four. The, the foreign uh, press association uh, uh, that's based in uh, Washington D.C. but not okay. none of here. Hi, uh, good evening. My name is Teresa Lung, and I'm a documentary filmmaker and a former journalist. I have a two-part question. It is both around content strategy. So, my mom, I like to say, "Oh, mom, where'd you hear that?" She'll say, "Well, I read it in the Chinese newspaper." Right. She's not the only person to say this. Hopefully, the World Journal. <laughs> um, I know she definitely reads the World Journal. I believe she has read the other publications as well. I unfortunately don't read Chinese. But my questions are this. One is, 
I believe that some of the things she reads, she actually does read first. She gets she gets it from the um, Chinese language paper, and then she also you know watches it on TV or reads it in the English language paper. You spoke. Some of the panelists spoke earlier. Queenie, I think you did, and Marco about like your um, your staff and how you get news, and perhaps it's from Hong Kong or The Wire. But could you talk a little bit of like not the business, not the sales angle, but a true editorial like. Why do you think that is, or is there breaking? Like, what is it? And then the second part is, and this could be a business answer, which is, do you wish that you received more content from, you know, it's ethnic media, but do you wish you had more from other types of people, other types of news? And is there something that, you know, other people here could pitch you that you think could work from your advertising perspective as well as from the editorial perspective? For the, for the second question, definitely yes. You know, I was a, a news reporter. Um, I, I had been uh, uh, work as a news, news reporter for more than 10 years uh, before I just came out doing the marketing things. Um, yeah, um, we, we really you know, want to get more contacts you know, from the different people. In the, in the country. Um, and from the news sense, uh, from the news, and what is the breaking news? That depends on the, well, that depends on the New sense. Uh, it's, it's to say, you know, how much this this thing happened and influenced uh, or impact uh, our community, our neighborhood, our city, and our country. Um, <clears throat> for breaking news, uh, if you if you are Chinese American, uh, I believe you you read or heard about the a. Old Chinese, a Chinese old man got beat up, or if you will. Uh, anyway, this is a controversial around there. Uh, we have yet to know the, the, the real answer, what's really happened. Uh, the, uh, the police said he's jaywalking, and they tried to stop him at the Times Square because the Blasio just uh, gave, gave out the order that you have to stop those, those jaywalking. So they, you know, the, but what's really happened, what, what you read or, or watch on the TV or read in the newspaper, as this, uh, this old gentleman that you have blood in, on his face, uh, story like this is uh, uh, authentic, of course, authenticity. That means our reporter uh, do all the interview here. Okay, and then, uh, yes, it's story like this will be picked up, uh, not only in China, but also mm -hmm. in Taiwan, every, any part. If there, uh, whether there is a Chinese community, uh, the uh, well, of course, like the uh, like the uh, New York City uh, mayor election or U.S. presidential election, uh, uh, major political uh, 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 story. That's we are not just uh, send our reporter there. We rely heavily on uh, uh, wire and sources. And then the, we also have compiler that they just uh, uh, monitor the, the, the major networks reporting, major newspapers, the services uh, story, and then and compile it. Of course, that you have to give credit to to those uh, uh, outlet, and that's the uh, that's the way that we, we do, and the, uh, we do the same thing uh, for uh, the story. Not, uh, the lady there asking how much. A percentage of uh, our, our our pages attribute to 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 international and and the local story for international that we uh, we have just just like uh, uh, many uh, competitor here main, in the mainstream not many pages less than four pages but we don't count China or Taiwan or Hong Kong as a foreign story okay they they all have a, a special section to go but the uh, we have uh, uh, like Sintao, we have a, a significant uh, section for, for local news. And for local news, is I think that's uh, where we compete the most heavily. Yeah, right, right, right. Before I take the last question from uh, is I want to add something. Is that uh, here at the center, we have uh, voices of New York that are. And it's essentially what we're trying for it to be. I mean, all of your members of the center that the content that we aggregate from these other publications, please feel free to use them. Because I think where she was getting at is we live in this multi-ethnic city and we need to know what each other is doing. And that's what we're trying to promote that. You know, uh, any uh, of your publications can pick up 
uh, as the Iowa Prince uh, article in one of the publications, as long as you credit them. And I think you know that's what we're trying to foster, and that's the next meeting that I'd like to uh, convene with the members of the center so we can really enrich uh, our audience and, and really connect uh, our readers to the broader uh, city because we've all agreed that the general publications are not doing an adequate job of covering the whole city where individually you guys are covering your communities fairly well and so we need to share that content as much as we can. So, uh, last question. Hi, I'm Gail Robinson. I'm with uh, the New York Committee for Occupational Safety and Health. I'm a freelance education writer. I was just wondering, do you sort of get a sense of the kind of stories that you do and what your, what each of your, see your strengths as being? I was wondering if each of you could maybe mention one story you've done recently that you feel is particularly proud, you're particularly proud of, or represents your paper at its best, or that you maybe beat your competition on. Friendly <coughs> competition. Just to give us a sense of what your coverage is like. Thank you. Well, um, we, we do a very good job on the um, immigration coverage. And um, we also win, uh, won a APS awards on the immigration um, topic last year. And so we, we do pretty well on the immigration education um, topics on that. You need to fire your political reporter. I don't think she's very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I'm 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 kidding. i am to answer your question, that's uh, we, uh, you know, immigration, anything to do with immigration, anything to do with welfare, health care, education, are of course uh, the highest concern of the, our readers. So we attribute a lot of uh, spaces for that, for those stories. And not only uh, daily uh, reporting, we also have weekly uh, special pages for education and immigration. and we. We, we, we also uh, print out the uh, books uh, helping our readers to understand or to communicate with uh, non-Chinese speaking uh, healthcare provider. You know, it's, it's, for the, the, it's so difficult for an immigrant to, to, go, to go to a doctor or if you are uh, hospitalized or if you got caught uh, being, being stopped by police. How you answer, how you, f how, how you handle a situation like that it's easy for, for you just write a, a sentence like that. Next time, call 311, okay? No way. Probably they have difficulty to call 311 either. Um, but uh, I guess that the, uh, we as uh, ethnic media, our mission is to be a bridge for our community and the mainstream. We're to be a bridge for new immigrant and the community they're going to live. I'm talking Chinese American community here and for Chinese coming from different parts of the world. So uh, uh, that's, that's how uh, we want to, to uh, have our newspaper served. And then any story that can uh, serve that purpose is our, uh, of course, is our job. Okay, uh, yeah, just like you know, Ms. Liu uh, said, uh, you know, uh, the, the Chinese um, language newspaper is a bridge between the Chinese community and the public service system and, um, and, and private sectors. So um, uh, there's one of the, the major duty you know, for us um, is to, to help our readers, especially for the new immigrants, to access this, uh, the public and the private services. So uh, for the local news, um, there's not only ju just a news. There, 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 there might be you know, a very, uh, you know, um, a lot of uh, useful information in it. And sometimes that, that information, well, that kind of information is more important than, new, than news itself. Um, we compare, um, you know, for the local news, that we compare um, the four major newspapers every day. And, uh, and you know, sometimes you know, uh, the, 
the boss will, will say, hey, why, why you miss this, uh, this important news? Why World Journal had this? And, and, and why uh, Xindao had this? And why, you know, sometimes, and why uh, Ming Pao had this? So that's, uh, we compare them uh, every day, and we try to find, uh, we try our best to find, you know, how to fix uh, the thing that, that, that we're missing this kind of things. So um, for, for exclusive news, uh, somebody, uh, some, some, sometimes the World Journal uh, has, and sometimes the Xindao, and sometimes Ming Pao, of course, sometimes China Press. Actually, I don't really actually have time, maybe like two minutes. I want to share with you uh, like some of my experiences of my daily work. Like uh, Ming Pao Hong Kong is the most, is very well known as the most credible newspaper um, in Hong Kong. So we honor that every day here is the same thing. And actually every day um, as a chief reporter, I receive a lot of phone calls from the Chinese people in the community. And uh, the purpose of them calling is that they just want to complain. And, uh, and you know, um, they will tell me about the issues that wouldn't even be an interest to the mainstream media. Meaning if they call like Daily News and New York Post, um, those reporters would not even care. So I think they see Chinese newspapers, for example, like Mi Pao, as a member of their own. Like, we could speak for them. Like, they will have, they, through us, they will have their voice heard and their issues solved. Well, thank you very much on that note, and let's give a nice round of applause to the panel. And uh, thank you for coming. I know it's really cold outside, and uh, you guys are great, so great troopers for coming here. And please uh, look out. We have a lot more uh, programs coming up over the course of, of, of this year. And if you have any ideas, we open. And this center is really for you. And, Make the best of it, and uh, see you next time. Thank you.